SAP just added transportation management planning capability to SAP S4 HANA Cloud Core. So let's talk about that. So SAP just dropped its third quarterly innovation cycle for the year 2021 and the in its customer systems just this past weekend. If you want to get technical, that's the 2108 release, which as usual comes with a number of new innovations, uh, scope item extensions and new scope items. Now, amongst all of these announcements that were made, one that caught my eye in particular, having previously been a transportation management consultant, is the availability of manual planning capabilities in the area of transportation management directly in the SAP S4 HANA Cloud Core. Now, the topic of transportation management is not something that is foreign to SAP S4 HANA Cloud. As you can see in the diagram, before 2108, there were some transportation management capabilities in the system, especially in the area of recording order-based transportation requirements coming in from sales orders or purchase orders, as well as the ability to perform in uh, system uh, freight execution, uh, event updates and monitoring, as well as the financial settlements with your carriers, meaning that uh, the ability to uh, perform charge calculation in the system was already available. The difference uh, is that in uh, the, this scenario, so before 2105, the ability to do any kind of planning needed to reside outside of SAP S4 HANA Cloud. And to do so, you could resort to either a third party uh, external transportation planning uh, tool set or SAP transportation management in an on premise or a private cloud deployment. Now, if you wanted to integrate to a third party uh, transportation planning tool set, then you needed to deploy the scope item 3 EP. And if you wanted to uh, integrate to an on premise SAP transportation management system, then you needed to on top of that also um, look at the scope item 4OZ, which is a scope item that you will find in the best practices on the on premise side of SAP S4 HANA. And essentially in this scenario, what was happening is that you would have your order based transportation requirements that would translate into freight units. This is where the integration would kick in. So those freight units would be sent to those external systems where the planning would happen and then come back into SAP S4 HANA Cloud in the form of freight orders that you could uh, track the execution on as well as then perform the financial settlement thereof. What has changed now with the release of 2108 is that, as you can see, this whole freight planning capability is now in the system. So your reliance on an external system is not there anymore. So with 2108, we now have the end to end capabilities in as far as transportation management is concerned in that you have the ability to, of course, record the order based transportation requirements still. At the moment, uh, these uh, order requirements come from sales orders or purchase orders. So you have an outbound and an inbound scenario. You have the freight unit management. So also the ability to uh, leverage freight unit building rules. Obviously, the freight order management, the transportation charge calculation, as well as the picking, packing and delivery process, which is as it was before. The novelty really is around the freight planning where you can now perform manual planning. So there is no optimizer planning. This is really uh, the ability for you to assign freight units to freight orders by uh, drag and drop in a uh, quite uh, pleasant to use UI. You can obviously also do capacity monitoring. So this is also uh, the ability for you to check if the uh, number of freight units that you have loaded onto a freight order uh, exceed the maximum allowed capacity uh, of the resource that you are using. There is also an ability to perform a resource selection. So you can create your own kind of resources uh, so it could be a van, it could be a truck, uh, which of course will have different uh, capacities, be it in weight, in volume uh, or area. 
Um, you also then have the ability to assign the carrier, the subcontractor to whom you will entrust the transportation of that freight order. There is also a requirement uh, or a prerequisite that you need to set up the integration to the HANA spatial services uh, that reside on the business uh, technology platform. And the HANA spatial services will essentially allow to uh, translate a, a physical postal address into a geo coordinate, i.e. a latitude, longitude, and then also when you come to uh, creating your freight orders, uh, be able to uh, accurately schedule them by calculating the distance between those uh, source and destination locations. And all of that, of course, happens in a new transportation cockpit uh, purposely made to help you uh, achieve the best possible results in terms of planning your freight units to your freight orders. Uh, in terms of the uh, end part of the process, this really hasn't changed. This, is, uh, this was available before and still is there. So you have the ability to report events in the system uh, to uh, track uh, the, the, the execution of your freight orders. And then, of course, uh, close up the processes uh, financially with your carriers by receiving their invoices and then paying them. Uh, or you can also uh, set up uh, a self-billing um, uh, process if that is what you wish and what you have negotiated with your carriers. Now. SAP might call this basic transportation management, but it's only to mark a distinction with the full advanced transportation management suite that SAP also has that can be deployed standalone or embedded in an SAP S4HANA on-premise or private cloud division system. Basic transportation management offers many benefits to our customers. As I said, the ability to execute your transportation management processes end-to-end -end in the SAP S4HANA Cloud Core, the tight integration to master data, to configuration settings. It also allows you to do away with the setup, or potentially the purchase of a third-party transportation management system, its implementation, setting up the uh, integration interface costs and keeping up those integration. Uh, so everything is now in the S4HANA Cloud Core. It also provides you with greater visibility around your freight costs, uh, hence really understanding where you are spending your costs, giving you leverage to negotiate better prices with your carriers in the next period. So if you are enthused as I am about the availability of basic transportation management in the SAP S4 HANA Cloud Core, then you have come to the right place. Over the coming days, we will be releasing a number of videos that will allow you to understand how to best implement transportation management and we will cover all topics from soup to nuts from a provisioning point of view from an activation point of view from a setup configuration point of view and then we'll go into the meat and balls of the topic looking at the processes explaining to you the freight unit building rules uh, how you can uh, set them up how you can tailor them to your specific needs we'll go over the transportation cockpit, the planning profiles, the selection profiles, uh, how you can actually do the planning, carry out the required tasks to plan your freight to your freight orders, the interaction that you can have with your carriers will cover as well the integration with the warehouse, the picking, the packing, uh, to make sure that you understand that there is uh, a distinction between that and the uh, freight orders, each other complement uh, each other really well. And then we'll taper things off at the end by looking at the charge calculation and the settlement with your carriers. So if you're interested, click the subscribe button to be made aware of all the new episodes. We hope to catch you real soon. So until next time, stay safe.